Have you ever opened up your photo library and wondered why there are 10 versions of the exact same sunset or three identical shots of your dog blinking? Duplicate photos can take up loads of space and make your sorting tasks even harder. But what if I told you there was a tool that could help you find them and fix those duplicates quickly and easily? In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to use Duplicate Photos Fixer Pro and my honest thoughts on the tool. And stay with me until the end because I've got a bonus tip that will help you avoid duplicates in the first place. What is Duplicate Photos Fixer Pro? Let's start with what Duplicate Photos Fixer actually does. It's a clever little app that scans your computer or phone for photos that look the same. Not just exact copies with the same name, but also images that are slightly edited, resized or saved twice by mistake. It works on Windows, Mac, Android and iOS, so covers most devices we all use. Duplicate Photos Fixer Pro, the basics. Once you've downloaded and installed the tool from duplicatephotosfixer.com, open up the app. You'll be greeted with a clean, simple dashboard. On the left-hand side of the dashboard, you'll see an option to add folders or photos. Click to add photos or add folder and point it towards the folder you want to scan. Maybe it's your entire pictures folder or a folder from a hard drive or a backup. You can even drag and drop files straight into the app. But also you can scan your computer, Lightroom, Dropbox, or another photo organizing tool. Next, look at the matching criteria options. This is where you tell the tool how strict you want to be. You can select exact match if you only want to find files that are exactly the same. Perfect for identical downloads or backups. Or you can go for similar match, which lets the tool find photos that have been cropped, resized or color corrected, but are otherwise the same. You can then fine tune the matching settings with the accuracy level, matching they're all from low to high, bitmap size so you can move the slider for performance to quality. Also, the time interval is a good one to play with as less means they will be within seconds of each other and more makes the gap larger. Then finally, we have GPS so the photos can be taken within a certain distance of each other. Also, don't forget to tick include rotated images and flipped images to get a true check of what you have. If you ever want to go back to the default settings, just click here at the bottom. Once you're happy with the settings, hit scan for duplicates. Once it's run, now you decide what to keep. You can manually review if that's what you want or use the auto mark feature to let the tool decide which to keep based on quality, resolution or file size. To work with the auto mark options, click the settings in the menu bar at the top to decide on the criteria to include, but also the order they are implied. This is also where you can protect a folder, so you can keep your sorted photos safe, and if you find more, then you can just flag those for duplicates. To see a detailed view, just change the view up here. Also, to get the detail about the files, you can check out the metadata here on the right-hand side, as well as the little preview of the photo. You can change the marking by ticking or unticking this little box. Also, if you want to change the matching level, this little slider up here will allow you to do that. When you're happy, just click delete marked. That's it, your duplicates are gone and your photo library has just got a little easier to manage. Pros and cons. Now why Duplicate Photos Fixer is brilliant at what it does, let's talk about the pros and cons to help you decide if it's right for you. The pros, it's super easy to use and doesn't need any technical knowledge to get started. It works across multiple devices and does a good job of finding both exact and near duplicates. You also have a lot of control on how it detects duplicates, which means you can tailor it to your needs, which on some of the tools out there like Gemini 2 and Dupe Guru, you don't have as much control over. I love that you can just scan your computer or you can point it to other locations like Dropbox and Lightroom. Also, a big one for me is that it's a one-off purchase. Buy it and it's yours. Don't get me started on those subscription models. The cons. It's not a free tool. There is a small cost for the full version. Also, it doesn't integrate directly with cloud services like Google Photos or iCloud Photos. 
So if your photos are stored in the cloud, you'll need to download them to your computer first. Now for a couple of big cons for me. It does exactly what it says in the tin. It is a duplicate photo fixer, not videos. It does not work to look for duplicate videos. But let's face it, who doesn't have videos in their collection? Also a big con for me is that you have to delete the photos. You can't just pop them in a working trash folder until you're done. And while it's great at finding duplicates, it won't help you sort or label your photos. It's not a replacement for a full organizing system. Which brings me to this. If you're feeling overwhelmed by the sheer amount of photos you have and not sure where to begin, then let me gently nudge you towards my Photo Mess Success courses. They are designed to help you go from a cluttered, chaotic mess of photos to a clean, well-organized library you actually enjoy looking at. We cover everything from gathering your photos to sorting, naming, and backing up your photos. To find out more, head on over to photomesssuccess.co.uk if it sounds like the kind of help you need. My view of Duplicate Photos Fixer Pro. So what's my verdict on Duplicate Photos Fixer Pro? Honestly, I think it's a great little tool if all you're trying to do is clean up your photo collection and get rid of exact or near duplicate images. It's fast, it's simple, and doesn't need much tech know-how to get going. Perfect for those who want to tidy things up without needing a whole weekend and a spreadsheet. But, and it's a very important but, there are a few things to keep in mind. First, this tool is all about photos. If you've got a mix of photos and videos in your library, Duplicate Photos Fixer Pro won't help you with the video files. For that kind of job, you're better off using something a bit more advanced like Photo Super for the Mac or Duplicate Cleaner Pro for the PC. They handle both photos and videos and give you much more flexibility when reviewing what you're keeping and deleting. Secondly, Duplicate Photo Fixer Pro is a delete first tool. Once it finds duplicates, the workflow is very much geared towards removing them right away. You don't get an option to remove duplicates to a maybe or a to review folder like some of the tools offer. So you need to feel confident that what it's selected to delete is actually safe to let go. If you're someone who likes a second look before anything disappears, that might make you feel a little bit nervous. So in summary, if you're sorting photo files and want something fast and focused to clear out the clutter, this is a great option. But if your needs are broader and you're working with a lot of mixed media, there are more flexible tools out there. Bonus tip. Now, before we wrap up, let me leave you with that bonus tip I promised you. If you want to avoid duplicates piling up again, the best thing you can do is stick to a good import routine. When you bring in your new photos from your phone or camera, always move them to your sorted folders instead of copying them multiple times. And if you're uploading to a cloud service, try not to sync the same folder more than once from different locations. Little organization upfront will save you hours of deduping later. And if you're interested in more clever tools that make photo organizing easier, then check out this video next, where I explore the best folder merging software. Perfect if your photos are spread across multiple places and you need to bring them together into one tidy home. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe for more photo organizing tips. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.